Like a bald. All right, guys. I don't give a fuck how much you try to convince yourself. If you see these signs, you're chasing a guy. All right. You could tell. You could say to yourself that you know, like, oh, you know, I'm just bored, or you know, oh, you know, it's just. No, I'm gonna fuck, man. If you're doing any of these things, you're chasing, and you gotta stop as soon as possible. All right. So, all right. So the first sign is that you are afraid to offend the guy. Whenever you're afraid to offend somebody, it means you see them as higher value. It's simple as that. Unless she's a kid, right? You don't want to offend the kid. Eh, who cares, right? But the point is, is that whenever you are afraid to show negative emotions, it just means that you are in a position of weakness. Think about it in anything in life. The person who's more willing to show negative emotion is the person who's more willing to walk away. So whenever he does something wrong and you don't call him out, that just means you're afraid to offend him. That just means, you, that just means you're the one that's chasing. You're in a position of weakness. Fuck that shit, man. If you're in that position, offend them. I don't give a fuck. Just think, if you're afraid to offend them, just think back in the people in your life who you offended and they still came back. And if they don't come back, that means you're, in a, you're with someone who does not love you, all right? The second one is you have anxiety when it comes to texting. You don't know when he's going to respond back, right? You don't know when he's going to text you. None of that stuff, right? So if, 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 you, if you're afraid of, of, if you're anxious thinking when he's going to text you um, um, and, and, and you're always calculating how to text him, you're, you're asking your friends, how should I say, bro, you're chasing, girl. You're chasing. You're chasing. What you got to do is be mi a minimalist. Do less than necessary, all right? The next one is you can't focus on your day, right? Especially on the day of the date, right? So when you're chasing a guy on the day of the date, your day is going to be fucked. You're not, you're not going to, you're not going to have your normal routines or you're not going to focus as well. That's all, look at that, right? that's all an unconscious sign that you are the one that's chasing. And if that's the case, then you just have to pull away from people. I know I always say that, but for some reason people don't do that. So I know I always say that, but for some reason, some of you guys are just hard headed. So I got to like just drum it th through your through your hard head ahead that when, 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 when you're feeling anxiety about something, that just means you're waiting. You got to drop all of those expectations. But I'll be honest with you, it's easier said than done. So I understand. Uh, the next one is following up on their maybes. When a guy says maybe, when a guy says I'll let you know, even on the day of the date, the fact that you're the one that's confirming the day or we're still going out is a sign that you are the one that's chasing. Right? So, I, I, like again, if you're the one that's chasing, I mean, I mean, when you're in a state of chasing, in a state of chasing, you're going to feel disappointment. No matter, what's, no matter what happens, you're going to feel those falls. You're going to feel that pain, right? Again, people, I'm saying this, and I know it's easier said than done. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not trying to say do it. I know it's easier said than done. But if you see this, at least you have the conscious awareness now that you didn't have before. The next one is... You are afraid that he's going to flake, right? And that is, that, that is very similar to like what I said earlier, is that maybe he flaked on you before. Maybe you've been flaked on before, right? But the fact that you're afraid that the person's going to flake just tells me you're not focusing on your life. It just tells me that you've been scarred. It just tells me that you, you've taken things too seriously. Again, it's normal because it happens to me too. Sometimes it happens to me, so it's a normal thing. But it's important to be aware of that phenomenon, right? Don't fool yourself, right? That just means that you're putting too much stock on this. You got to surrender. You watch my videos. There's a certain effort that you're going to put into it. And there, and there is a predetermined result that you're going to get from your effort. Surrender to that. Like me, there's a certain amount of women that I could get without no effort, right? And then there's a certain amount of women that I could get with effort. The, the effort part isn't, when you put effort, the amount isn't that much. It is not worth the stress. You, you see what I'm saying? So surrender to it. Ensure to never make the mistakes of over pursuing. And just surrender to the fact that someone will come. And you're not going to fuck it up. Surrender to that. Before you would have fucked it up. But now you're, you're not going to fuck it up. And just surrender to that aspect. So that you don't take everything seriously. You know? The next one is when, you, when he friend zones you. Girl, if he friend zones, if he friend zones you... Pfft, shit. The next one. 
when you're in a conversation with the guy and he breaks and you consistently breaking the silence, you feel like you have the burden of the conversation. Now, ladies, that means you're chasing. Whenever there's a silence, you talk. Just to, just to keep the conversation interesting. That to me is a sign that you're chasing that dick. All right. And I'm telling you, when a guy senses you're chasing him, it turns, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but it turns him off. It, it's unfortunate. It's just human nature. It's like you're having a kid and you gave everything to that kid, right? And you're, and you're submissive to your kid. That kid's going to take advantage of you. But that kid is going to want to, deep down, that kid wants to respect you. But the fact that you act such a, like a friend, he does not have that level of respect. And as a result, he doesn't have the support of a mother in his life. The same thing with a guy. Whenever you're so easy to him, whenever you're so compliant, sure, you know, he finds you interested, but he's not going to value you. We all want things of value. We all want things of, when we have things that doesn't have that much value, we don't pay much attention to it. So when you do this, you're lowering your value. And it's not that, you're, it's not that you are bad in, as a person, but it's just that the illusion, it's all an illusion. You're fucking up your own illusion. The world that we live in is a world of appearance. It is what it is. Resent it if you like, but if you resent it, you're going to go against human nature and feel constant frustration. Better to understand this and play, and, and, and play with the grooves. Don't resist it, people. All right? All right, people, this is Alex with Mindful Attraction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy, to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get out. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's, it's your bodyguard. Without this, your, whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal-oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you, know, it, you know? Now, the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one, would, this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kayo Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video, right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.